there's a new sound coming forth from the hills of southern West Virginia, a sound many prophets have foretold but haven't heard until now. For the past three weeks, the large sports complex in the small coal mining town of Williamson, West Virginia, has been filled to the rafters with people crying out for God. It all started when Tennessee evangelist Matt Hartley visited a local church for what was supposed to be a three-day revival service, but it just kept going. This is the presence of God that is overwhelming us, that is being released upon hungry people that are tired of just stagnant Christianity and safe church. They want Jesus more than anything else, and that's why they're here. Hartley also spoke at the local high school, where revival seemed to break out among the students. 400 to 450 students got saved at Mingo Central through uh, Matt Hartley coming in and speaking at a voluntary prayer club meeting. It has just went from school to school, uh, from youth group to youth group. Denominational barriers have just been cast down, and we've just had a great spirit of unity. Many say it's the greatest spiritual awakening in southern West Virginia history. Are you all ready to pray and believe with them?
and that you would enter our hearts, God, and that you would affect every family that's associated with my school. Lord, you're going to break the chains. And it's fine. It ain't, this is just the start, Lord. We meet the, we meet the match, God. But you're going to pour the gas all over it. And it's going to spread, God.
Parks Middle School and the year award when they do in our school, not just for our staff, but for our students. Everybody in my school break all the courage and break every single chain of everybody in my school card. And you just said, oh, lost well, us, God, because you know we need God, that you just break all the depression, all the bad habits in my school, that you just flood the whole school card. I'm Jesus. I'm from Belfry High School. And I ask you to touch every single soul that, that walks in there, Jesus. Let them know that your presence is there, God. Let them know that the fire burns in your heart. Let them know about the living water, Jesus. Let us no longer be made fun of or pulling out a Bible and talking about you, Jesus. Let them know that we burn, Jesus. We run from you, Jesus. That we will feel the spirit, Jesus. Let them know that we will change this generation in your name, God. Let them know, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. I'm from Middle and Pastor Man, Pastor Caleb Kane, Friday, and like that. Four hundred and people got saved and hundreds got healing. Just want some more people to get baptized tonight. After the service over. Yeah. 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 I'm from Wellington Pre-K-8 and I just pray that God will save everybody in our school with all the bullying. Yeah. Yeah. I'm from Man Middle School and I pray for an anointing of the Holy Ghost over my school, Father God. I pray that you are your high I stand in line for Man High School. I pray that the fire of God will just consume our school. I pray, God, God says in the Bible, who the sun sets free is free indeed. Yeah. He said we have a button as a green as a mustard seed that we can say, Mount move, and it shall be removed in the name of Jesus. I speak that over my school. I speak revival. I speak change. I speak the students, God, when they walk into the school. They see the fire. The administration sees the fire. I'm from Main High School and I pray, Lord, for all the people that are at prom tonight that they just get the feeling of the Holy Ghost in them and just that all of our prayer warriors that are there tonight just anoint them all with the Holy Ghost and they all just, all the broken homes, all the, all the people in the Desperation has paved the way for this spiritual breakthrough, especially among the young people. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. Uh, I've never seen something like this happen where just the young people get on fire and it's really cool to come to church and it's really cool to worship God and nobody's judging you or saying anything about it uh, because they're all with you. We're, we're starting to have prayer circles at school before, before school and you know we're reading and having Bible studies at school. Others like Erica Priest of Lenore are seeing God answer very specific prayers. My husband just got saved this morning. I've been praying for him for months, and he'll be baptized this Sunday. He got saved this morning on a Monday morning? On a Monday morning at work with other men that are Christians that he works with. Hartley believes the sound of revival now being heard in these West Virginia mountains has the potential to spread around the world. 
I believe God has preserved this state for the end time awakening that's coming to America. I believe that this is the beginning of where it happens and it's going to spread as a wildfire throughout the nations of this world. That Jesus is going to be exalted and the more Jesus is exalted, the more the river of God is going to flow. And we have not seen anything yet to what God is releasing. There's a rumbling, there's a, there's a rumbling across the world right now. It's at the infancy stage, it's at the very beginning. He is beginning something right now that's going to culminate in His second coming. He's beginning something right now. He's getting His bride ready. And take a look at the church across the world. We're not anywhere close to being ready. This has got a sweep. All over. It's got to sweep from coast to coast. It's got to sweep to Finland and Germany and Japan and Australia and Russia. It's got to go into South Africa, South America, into Central America. It's got to touch every continent in this world. Sound the deliverer. And what he's saying to me and what he's saying to you. This could go on and on. We all know that. But you need to live as if he's coming back tonight. Now, he's not coming back for a weak church. He's not coming back for a helpless church. He's not coming back for a stained, spotted, wretched church. He's not coming back for a church in adultery. He's coming back for a church that's anticipating. They're looking. They're anticipating his return. A bride that's looking up to heaven and saying, Jesus, Maranatha, Maranatha, come back. Come back! Come quickly, Lord! Come quickly, Lord! I don't want you. I don't want religion. I don't want another church. I don't want another congregation. I don't want another Bible. I don't want another wife. I don't want more kids. I want you, Lord. There's something in the deep part of me that's crying out. in the deep part of me that's crying out religion and the husk of religion has not satisfied my soul I want you Lord and the Lord says in that day when you seek me with all your heart you shall find me It's not about evangelizing. It's not about pastoring. It's not about buildings. It's not about money. It is about the Lord Jesus Christ. 